Nothing wrong if a northerner succeeds Buhari in 2023, Tunde Bakari. The senior pastor of the Citadel Global Community Church, Pastor Tunde Bakari, has said it is not wrong or unconstitutional for a northerner to succeed President Buhari in 2023. Buhari is from the north and many southerners expect that his presidency will come to their region after eight years of Buhari's reign. Some have attributed it to an unwritten rule, which Buhari also benefited from. But in an interview on Channels TV, Bakari stressed that emphasis should be put on competence in the choice of leaders. He said, let the first person emerge. It doesn't matter which part of the country the person comes from. I've heard all kind of arguments on rotation and zoning. Some are saying Obasanjo plus Jonathan, that's 14 years. Uh, Umari or Umari Adoa plus Buhari is 10 years and that the North still needs and has four more years. At this moment, what is needed is a person who can do it. Political parties should bring their best forward, let the best of the best emerge. It can go to the South, it can go to the North. It is only one seat. If it's an Igbo man, so be it. If it's a Yoruba man, so be it. If, an, if it is a Northerner, a house of Fulani so be it, and I am saying that passionately. We, if we had promised rotation, let's practice rotation. If it's not part of our constitution, let's face the reality. It is not really where the person comes from that matters. It is what he's able to do and deliver. Okay, um, yeah, of course. I mean, the message of this is absolutely, 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 one hundred percent valid. In a sane working country, this argument works, but this is Nigeria. Um, the logic that. 14 years has been spent by uh, by southerners <laughs> in in power which means that it has to be the same for northerners because from what we have it's only 10 years and so it means that in 2023 there has to be you know that four years to make it equal to the southerners reign for 14 years has to be by a northerner which of course is a very <laughs> like what kind of logic is that but i guess it's a logic that works for the for the you know rotational or the ideology of rotation rotational presidency in nigeria um if another succeeds Buhari in 2023 i think there will be problems not that not that it would have to do with competency or anything but for the fact that the present the present the present president being a northerner has proven to be pro fulani and anti everything else so in because of that that itself has, you know, brought about even more division in Nigeria. And we cannot pretend that there isn't some bias or some prejudice towards any mode of northern extraction. Um, so, I mean, depending on what it is, to be honest, again, listen, anything can change. Listen, if Buhari could have a second term, anything can happen in Nigeria. So I'm not even going to say that as well. Um, you never really know what can happen because Nigerians can shock you. It just is what it is. Um, depending on as well, if and if if another succeeds Buhari with the Igbo agitation, or with, I mean, with the Igbo presidency flying around, I think there may also be problems as well because maybe this time Igbo's are just gonna be like, "Excuse me, we want, we want to go there." Um, but really and truly, I don't even, I don't even think, I don't even think the present, the present administration. Um, minds because they've signed the petroleum industry bill which means that as they're leaving office and as they leave office when they leave um they're cemented their pockets are well full their pockets are are overflowing with resources so that's that's fine for them um but this thing's a thing of power so even if it's most likely a northern may still succeed buhari who else would be there who else would be there this thing has to do with voting and um, accountability. We, our voting system is absolutely shambolic. INEC is absolutely shambolic. Everything is shambolic. So how can we how can we prove who is voting for who? How can we say that this person has proven? I mean, even the most basic. I'm talking bare minimum standard, which is the presidential debate. Some do not even show up. Buhari did not show up in 2019, and the man still won. So it doesn't really matter at this point. Obviously, you should vote. Yes, vote because. You don't know what could happen. There could be a whole campaign awareness thing, even in the north, to take voting seriously and vote for who you want to vote for, and understand that you know you you have a part of this country, you have a part to play in this country because it's your country as well. So again, things can only change if if there's a lot of awareness and 
education especially in the north especially in the north um not saying the south i mean the south is pretty much is well exposed so when it comes to people being competent to make decisions themselves on who they want to vote for that is fine but in the north it's a it's it's a whole different thing they have to entangle so many so many so many perspectives because obviously that is influenced with their culture and religion as well so yeah the only way because the north is a key part of the country in terms of population and votes so yeah the only way to sort of be confident that okay the north is voting for who they truly want to vote for um is by you know awareness and trying to enlighten a lot of northerners to see that voting is very important but how would you do that then you know then they're, they're literally the hub of insecurity and they are hungry yeah that's the main thing they are hungry so they're not going to think of anything else um so yeah, this now sheds light on voting and all that. Yes, it's true. It doesn't matter if a northerner succeeds Buhari. It doesn't matter who succeeds him as as much or as long as the person is competent and um, is what the people want. We need to have standards for ourselves. We need to take the presidential debate seriously. Like Nigerians should just be like, you know what? If you don't show up for the presidential debate, you're out. You're disqualified. We have to have standards. We have to respect ourselves. We have to value ourselves. But would that happen? I do not know. Um, I have faith that 2023 may be a start of... We may not get the best of results, but it would be a change in our voting system and the mentality and the perspective Nigerians have towards voting. In terms of just being intentional. Um, but then again, listen, Buhari won, he won and he, he had a second term, providing how bad it was the first time. So, I mean, yes, you can, obviously, there are, there are, there are ties and you know, corruption is literally wrapped around how he won. But there were people that still wanted to vote for Buhari second time. So again, perspective is really, is really a big thing. And just people need to think for themselves because people can be easily influenced when it comes to politics. A lot of Nigerians into politics to understand what they're voting for, or even who they're voting for, or just understand the severity and the intensity, and the value of their votes because it matters. It matters in their daily lives. You cannot. I don't know. I don't know. Um, politics is a big thing in Nigeria. So Nigerians need to be intentional about knowing about politics because it's going to affect them and their generations to come. So depending on what they want to do in Nigeria or want to leave Nigeria, whatever it is, they've got to be, they've got to know. But then again, it's, it's really complex because people are hungry. Perspective has to change. If anything, it's, it's the North that is the biggest worry, to be honest, because that's the easily manipulated region. And when it comes to voting... They themselves, they never protest on anything right. But if something should go wrong, of course, they would be the puppet in the hands of the government to stage an uprising and, you know, show themselves. But then when it's actually time to defend themselves, that, you know, that that shows the value they have for themselves, they are nowhere to be found and nowhere to be seen. So really and truly, the, the weak link, <laughs> well, for a good cause, the weak link is the, is the South. I mean, the weak link is the North. But then, for the cause of the government, for them to win, the strongest link is the North. So yeah, put what you think in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe.